anti-evolution flyers. <gasps> evolution is under attack in our schools? I don't understand evolution, and I have to protect my kids from understanding it. As a professor of science, I assure you that we did, in fact, evolve from filthy monkey men. I'm a flying spaghetti monster. You seriously believe I'm descended from some kind of flightless manicotti? If you're elitist, East Coast evolution is real. Why has no one found the missing link between modern humans and ancient apes? Yes, they have! It's called Australopithecus Africanus! Oh, ho I've got you now. Things don't exist simply because you believe in them. Thus saith the almighty creature in the sky! We just need to find that last missing link. Ugh, I hate chiseling right after a manicure. Oh, darn it! I broke off one of my fingers! It's a bed spring, you dumb bed spring. There are no robot fossils. What? Who says I didn't evolve? Eureka! It's the elusive missing, missing link. This will show Banjo once and for all. <laughs> once again, science saves the day. Behold! Homo Farnsworth frolicking with dinosaurs at the moment of creation. Not lifeless enough. Set up my shack so I can kick you out of it! <laughs> ah! Nanobots. They're tiny robots I designed to eat up nasty irritants. So I found a couple of baseball gloves and boiled them up for lunch. Why don't you just go to hell? The water's as sterile as my milkman trusting father. <laughs> but what's this? Good heavens! Trilobots! <laughs> Let's get the pizza out of here! <laughs> but it's all in dehydrated pill form. Then we need water from that pond. We'll have to fight our way past the trilobots. Forest grew overnight. All these trees are robotic. I can't believe how quickly they sprung up. One thing about Bristol Myers Squibb, they know how to cook a steak. Great Scott, a tricycle tops. This is a cool way to die. So, you want to come in, maybe? I've got a nice pound cake with a footprint on it. The solar flare! <laughs> Only puny, mammal-like robots cowering in caves could survive such a catastrophe. <laughs> well, it took almost two hours, but it's finished! Yay! <laughs> Hey, looky here! Those robo cavemen have kidnapped our human regular women! We gotta save them! But the only weapon we have is my fan dance! Oh! Uh. I think they want wives, so just play along. It's too dark now, but first thing tomorrow, we'll slingshot them like they've never been slingshot! We went to sleep, and when we woke up, our cave husbands were gone. I'm gonna miss Spencer. You can speak? Dread my looks! A fully evolved robot human! I'm Dr. Widnar, a naturalist. I theorized that carbon-based, fat-filled life could exist, but until today, I never had any proof. Welcome, museum members, or as I like to call you, future exhibits. I must say, I'm so proud to see what you've blossomed into since I first created your ancestors. <laughs> he speaks lies. The Earth was created in eons, not days. Yes, relative to you it was eons. I don't want to live on this planet anymore. You're under arrest. Who is representing the accused? I am, Ow. Your Honor. This meat man does not deny that we robots are the glorious product of evolution. And I came here in a homemade spaceship and lived in a cave. If you don't believe me, ask my uncle. Has the jury reached a verdict? No, we have not. 
for we have evolved to a higher state of consciousness. That'll be $10,000. However unlikely that some wise and all-knowing alien monster set evolution in motion here on Earth. Then it's settled. Finally, a world in which I'm happy to raise my son. I want this ice fishing operation up and running by 0800 hours. <sighs> it's too cold, Dad. Shows what you know. Crispy doesn't even rhyme with risky. <laughs> Help! I'm drowning! I love ice fishing. I shouldn't be out in this cold. I have no protective fat, hair, or warm blood. <sighs> Can we get inside the shack? I'm wearing a belly parka. <laughs> and voila! We'll check it again at halftime. You home from school, you traitor. And with a little more luck from my seven-leaf clover, I might get sick enough to miss the whole semester. Hey, give me that! I'm not sure science is your thing, seeing how that chimp at the zoo tricked you out of your allowance. Yeah, well, I'll show you. <laughs> I feel awful, but it was worth it to catch and kill this baby fish. <laughs> a, com a common cold? No, no! <laughs> You are hereby quarantined until such time as it is deemed safe to enter and shoot your asses. Look, I just have a common cold! Humanity lost all resistance to its ravages, but the virus survived in you. I think I'm getting swollen glands. Ew. <laughs> Screw the quarantine! You alone to nurse us through this catastrophe. Hey, why, God? Man, I've got to go back to law school. I'm not gonna wind up a loser like that guy. Sure you will. Ah, Ew! I've had worse. When I was shot down over Korea, I had to eat kimchi. <laughs> what now? Humidifier. Ugh, fine. Ah, that's it. I'm leaving. Do, do, do. Howdy, folks. And may I say, nice work keeping those sickos penned up. Put her there. Infect my guinea pig with the common cold and launch it into space to see if it gets cured by cosmic rays. <laughs> we'll show him who's stupid. <coughs> the so-called common cold, introduced by living fossil Philip J. Fry, is spreading out of control. The situation is expected to deteriorate as newscasters whip the city into a panic. Run! Wernstrom, the quarantine has failed. Give me a worst case scenario and make it grim. And in 36 hours, it will have infected the entire planet. Options? We have only one option. Hooray! <coughs> They're letting us out! And hundreds of black hovercopters are coming to welcome us. <laughs> They shrink wrapped the whole city. Well, it could be worse. I'm just glad I have my wool scarf. What good is a wolf? They schmooped up Manhattan and blasted us toward the sun. They did? Hey. So what's the catch? The vaccine requires the original, unmutated 20th century cold virus. You really think your guinea pig could survive in the vacuum of space? He already survived in the vacuum of my mom. I mean, my mom's vacuum. <laughs> hey, wait a second! I know where you can get some 20th century cold virus without killing me! Blast us out of quarantine! Aye, aye, lady! But... <laughs> Aha! That satellite was scuttled on Enceladus, Saturn's main dump moon. It's the exact location of the dump, but there's nothing here. <sighs> Can we please go home and die now? <clears throat> I found the satellite! He may have brains, but I have heart. 
Josh Gedji. <laughs> what a well-prepared virus culture. This will make a fine vaccine. Uh, come on, gang. Let's go inoculate everyone and cram Manhattan back into its rightful hole. This may hurt a little. Ow! Now I'll give you the shot. I know I give you the business sometimes, but if I'm hard on you, it's only because I want you to grow up strong and resilient.